to another Black Shirt Beer Review. I am, as always, the rightest. We got Trevor from Jake and Trevor View, everything back with us again. Hey and Kelsey from TV6 is uh, in the hot seat today. Kelsey, say hello to the internet world. Hello. Okay. So, well, let's not dawdle. Let's get right into it, because we got a big one this time. We've got the Copper Baron Barley Wine from Brickside Brewery. is a local brew from Copper Harbor, Michigan. Put it on the map! Alright, so Copper Baron, uh, that sounds, uh, that sounds nice. intriguing. Right, live fire, live fire. It's always danger here at Black Shirt Beer Review. Um, yeah, uh, I, I imagine a very sophisticated gentleman sitting in his smoking lounge. Uh, with a monocle on like, him. Oh, like, oh, 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 it's got a really nice color to it. Some barley wines range from almost like a, a nice ruby to a full on like dark black opaque. And this is right in the middle and I like it. Well, I can smell the barley. It's got a good grainy sort of nose. Oh my it. God, it's got, yeah, it's very malt forward nose. Uh, That's what I was gonna say. It's, you can tell it's got the malt and the, yeah. There's a lot <laughs> of sweetness in there too. It's a dark you one. Can, you can you can almost smell the meanness it's of it. Like this a, is it's like a breakfast. This cereal. guy's gonna have a, a a lot of love to it. And for splitting between three glasses, this has actually got some nice uh, bit of head retention there. I mean, it's nice little dark uh, uh, cream color to it. Perfect really, for really a little shape okay too. You can't really really see through all the way through the other mm -hmm. side of your glass. So this is nice and dense. What are you dense? Well, it looks good. It smells good. There's only one way to find out how it is. Let's do the damn thing. Cheers. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. See, all right, one of the big things that is generally a put off with barley wines is they tend to be really sweet. Many of them borderline on syrupy. This has got none of that. I was gonna mention that because normally I do not like dark beers at all, or even like in the middle, and I actually really like that. Yeah. And that's saying something for me because I'm not much of a beer drinker, but that was really good. Well, I'm, I'm getting kind of a sensation of sweetness on the tongue, right. but it's really well balanced with everything else. Exactly, the sweetness is there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a barley wine. It's going to be sweet no matter what. There's no way you're ever going to have a barley wine that doesn't have some sort of aspect of sweetness to it. Oh. But this one, I unlike many others, it doesn't just linger there and it feels like you're you know, sucking on a beer flavored lollipop for a half hour. Mm -hmm. This is there and then is replaced by a very, very complex but really like easy to deal with uh, malt profile. Like Everything is there. You get to taste all of those malts in there. And it actually has a really good hoppiness to it on the finish, you know. This doesn't just focus all on the barley. There is a good hop profile to it as well. With, you know, it's 53 IBU, which means, you know, that's pretty hot. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm getting kind of some darker flavors off of this. Sort of a coffee, dark chocolatey sort of tone. Mm -hmm. You get a little especially bit actually after the first couple tastings, it comes yeah. a little more prominent. Yeah, especially in, in, in a while you hold it and it warms up a little in your hand. It actually does have that bit of aspect to it, much like wine. And the, the warmer it gets, and you know you're, you're holding it in your hand like a red, the the more depth you're going to get out of it. The more flavors and nuances are going to come forward. Like Trevor's saying, you know, the more that he drinks it, the more you drink it, the more you get of it. I'm definitely getting some nice dark fruits out of this, like date or maybe even a little toffee action out of yeah. it. Yeah. It's complex. All the way around, it's super complex. It's the same simple thing yeah. about this. Coffee-like. But Absolutely. As, as complex as it is, I don't think it's daunting. 
you know, Kelsey here was saying how she's not really a beer drinker before we started this whole action, and I just had to laugh to myself because <laughs> like, man, you're jumping right into the deep end then. I don't feel bad for giving this to you no. as like you know your first uh -huh. barley wine. This is very acceptable and kind of would be my standard for a barley wine. This is what it should taste like, look like, feel like, everything. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, like I was saying before too, is that I am a wine drinker, and this is actually borderline wine. Hey, you're it's, making a good transition here. Yeah, you know? it's, yeah. It's that easy it's, steps, you know, and that's what we like to do here at Blackshear Beer View. Get you to take those easy steps to better beer. And, uh, all right, we broke it down, inside out, upside down. Let's put some numbers on the damn thing. Kelsey, you're the guest. Why don't you uh, get a tagline on it first? You know, as far as beer goes, this is one of the very best ones I've ever had. And I would have to give it like a four and a half. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, for me, this is, it's, it's got a good flavor to it. Uh, it's challenging. I like that. But it's not something I could sit and drink like uh, over the course of an evening. I'm gonna have one glass of this, yeah. savor it, enjoy it, and then put it away for another day. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna give it four. Okay. Uh, I, I really, I, if, if I could drink more of this in one evening, I'd probably give it a five. But this is this is high octane stuff. All right. Well, before I give my rating on it. Uh, we're going to have a quick announcement first. Um, speaking of Brickside Brewery, first off, they're now available down here in Marquette, which is part of the reason why we're kicking this one right now. So we're really happy to see that. So you're going to be seeing more of their stuff on this show. And speaking of us and them, myself and a couple of the other Black Shirt Beer Review regulars, Holly and Jeremy, are going to be pouring for Black, uh, Brickside at the UP Fall Beer Festival uh, this upcoming uh, September 6th. So if you're going to uh, the Beer Fest, come over to uh, our tent, say hi, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You never know what happens, because we'll have the camera there, so. Yeah, you just say, you're gonna bring the camera there, so we'll Always. probably have some, uh, some wonderful uh, footage for uh, the next uh, Beer Fest now. Oh, exactly, you know it. All right, enough plugging aside, let's put the cap on the thing. I'm giving it a straight five. This is like I was saying is my standard. This is the measuring stick. This is what every uh, barley wine should strive to be like in my eyes. And I'm really not being biased on it. I love this up in every way. I mean, it's it's drinkable to the point where, you know, you could, I personally could have a couple more of these because, well, I'm, I'm definitely a, a big beer chaser. So, um, Everything's just in the right places. I mean, there's nothing more that I can say about this. This is a creature of beauty and finery in my eyes. And Brickside, good job with this guy. Well deserving of the uh, well-appointed gentleman on the front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect label. Well, that'll wrap it up for this one. Until next time, I'm Rhinus. Kelsey was with us. I'm Trevor. Happy drinking. Cheers. Ha ha. Stop it in there. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs> <laughs>